One cannot talk about rural improvement without making reference to the agricultural sector. Regina Bafati, the Executive Director Action for Development, says that for any generation to prosper, youth and women must be empowered. They are key players in the agricultural sector with the potential to reduce hunger and poverty and deserve more attention by government. The women who are more than 50% are not necessarily the ones that are benefiting from the facilities that have been put in place. And therefore our appeal as a Ugandan is that let the women, let the youth be uh, educated on what is available, especially in the opportunities that are available. If the opportunities are available and the women and the youth are not aware, obviously the facilities and the services will be misused because people will take advantage of their ignorance. The remarks were made during the Rural Finance and Gender Equity Conference on Inclusive Finance Opportunities for Youth and Women held at Kampala Speak Resort Munyonyo. She says that government must put more emphasis on creating and scaling up awareness on financial services, markets and existing business opportunities at local, national and regional levels. Some of the challenges that have been highlighted have been lack of collateral security, uh, illiteracy, financial illiteracy. We have also seen uh, the, ta the kind of businesses that the women and guys are involved in are very risky and therefore they do not attract funding for, uh, for agriculture. However, we are hoping that out of this conference we are going to come up with recommendations that are going to influence the policies that are going to be put in place by the different states that have been represented here. We know that policymakers have a very great role to play when it comes to having gender responsive policies, policies that are that promote inclusiveness, policies that promote uh, agriculture and most importantly agribusiness. Uganda Development Bank is partnering with youth and women to reduce poverty by extending funding for gainful and attractive agribusiness ventures. Samo Seja, the chairman, Uganda Development Bank, has this to say. The youth and women are the most critical part of our society in terms of production, in agriculture and in value addition. So the mothers, we expect that they will bring up the future generations, but we also know that they are involved in agriculture. So we are looking at how we can assist them to be more productive in agriculture. As far as the youth are concerned, you know we are looking at the youth as the Uganda of tomorrow. So we are asking what are the modalities and methods through which we can finance the youth. Amongst the things we have discussed today is the issue of access to finance, the ability for these youths to obtain securities and borrow money from the commercial banks, the price of the money itself, and all associated difficulties relating to paying back this money. So we are looking at what are the alternatives? How can the youth form groups? How can the women form groups so that we are able to create a sustainable system for financing their investments in agriculture and the subsequent development of this country? So the International Cooperative Alliance and the African Farmers Federation are advocating for establishment of a fund for small-scale agribusiness to promote women and the youth in the region.